Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make double thick soles for the bottom of your slippers. So let's get started. I'm going to work with two strands of worsted weight yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to start with a chain that's as wide as the bottom of the foot or the slipper. Chain 6. And that should be about as wide as the bottom of the slipper. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Like that. The end of the row, chain one and turn. Chain one takes the place of this first stitch, so single crochet in each stitch across the row, and that is three stitches. Like that. Repeat that row until this is about one half the length of the slipper. So that's chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to continue that, repeat every row until it's half the length of the slipper. Okay, I've worked until I'm about halfway across the slipper. So now I'm going to start getting wider here for the front of the foot. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And usually I don't work into this stitch, but I want to enlarge the width of the foot. So I'm going to single crochet in that stitch. I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. And in that last stitch, I'm going to make two single crochet. So one and two. So you can see now that this is getting wider. Now I'm just going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row, and I'm going to continue doing that until this is as long as the slipper. So I'm going to go off camera and do that, and then I'll come back and show you how to finish. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's getting wider here on both sides. Okay, I worked as long as the slipper, and this is how it looks and you can check that against the bottom of your slipper and it should be just slightly shorter than the slipper. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet all the way across the front of the slipper sole like that and now I'm going to work all down here all the way around and then I'm going to slip stitch to join when I get back here. So to turn the corner, I'm going to do one extra stitch, and then I'm just going to begin crocheting evenly all the way around the sole. Like that. I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row. Slip stitch to join in the very first single crochet. Fasten off with a long yarn end. Thread the yarn end into a yarn needle. Now you can place the sole under the slipper and sew it to the bottom of the slipper. And I usually take one stitch in each one of these stitches. like that and sew it all the way around like that and then you'll have double thick soles on the bottom of your slippers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.